Right you guys, welcome to Saturday the 25th It's uh, a bit of an odd day today again It's quite muggy It can almost chuck it down And uh, I don't know, it's just a bit of an odd day again It wants a thunderstorm to clear itself out So, just looking down over one of the farmer's fields River just over there We're just upstream from the estate the estate is just over there and the buildings there are the pumping houses for the reservoir that's next to our land um, so we've got a bit of a story this morning so last night uh, about 20 past 10 I got a text message saying have you heard about the fire and I said no what fire I was uh, wondering if something daft like the, the hay that I bailed the other day had gone up in flames, something stupid. Um, but he said, oh no, he said, next door farmer is having a fire. And I've just heard it through two other people, he said. I said, oh hell, he said, I, I knew there was a, a crop that was ready to harvest. Because I'd walked down the side of that wood the other day and noticed that this barley field was ready to go. So uh, he said, well, it was hopefully it's a contractor's bail, a combine that's gone up whilst combining. And I said, I doubt it. And I says, I oh, know they've got a, an old class combine that uh, they had parked up in the yard the other day. So I've just come down this morning to have a quick gander. And well, there's only half a field here anyway. Actually, uh, sealed the second half. So they must have literally just been finishing off this field last night. There's only like a breadth, two breadths down there. And then I saw this bit, and then this bit. So yeah, I think that's the end of her. Unfortunately, it's not what you want to see at the beginning of harvest. And I feel sorry for the farmer. So I think this is his first first field that he's, uh, he's combined. It's not what you want. Um, this is kind of following on from Nick's farm. Ironically, he was saying yesterday about farm safety. And all too often, these go up in flames as well as your balers. I'm guessing it went up quick because the fire extinguisher is still there. And she is smouldering at the moment. So I've just pulled the rest of the straw out from the back of her. I don't think it'll do much. It's just where tyres been. So that's the end of a dominator for you. Back end's alright. So yeah, I need to try to have a word, if I can have a word with the farmer and see what unfortunately happened if he knows I expect there's been some straw or some chaff sat on this side where it belts are and maybe belts are given out, I don't know but there isn't much left of her I'd uh, say that's a scrapper now now we're looking walk is it back no, they're alright at the moment I know they've had this combine for a few years. It's sad really. It's obviously got into the grain as well. Because the uh, the grain bins been light. But yeah, so Nick's farm was mentioning yellow wellers the other day about farm safety. And uh, unfortunately, by the looks of this time round, this farm has lost out. Not where you want to see at the beginning of harvest. So, yeah. I say the only good thing is he's got most of it in. Um, I think he's combined all this himself. This must look quite narrow. I don't think on it local farmers. Came, but let's say we'll try and get the full story at some point. That's a sad sight. Right, guys, I'm gonna leave it there. I'll catch you later.
Cheers. Bye.